world has changed significantly over the past year and bringing with it really valuable lessons. Many of those lessons also indicate that we need to change the way we set goals and go about achieving them. In this video, we will look at a foolproof way to set goals inside of Notion in 2021. The benefits will be you will achieve the results you want faster with better focus and control on your actions. We cover this video in six parts. Why should we have goals? Why yearly goals may be too long? The secret to an effective plan. Laying out your plan inside of Notion. Integrating your plan into your daily workflow and lessons learned. Why should you have goals? A goal is simply the answer to an important question that you ask yourself. The question is, what do you want to do with your life this year? By writing it down, you are forced to think about what is really important to you. In a way, you're setting a path forward towards the future rather than just drifting to a point that you don't want to get to. So you can't live life on other people's goals, but only the ones that you truly believe in. Why yearly goals may be too long? A year is a very long period of time to visualize easily. Throughout 2020, we had to consistently recalibrate our plans and our actions while the overall trend was downward. In 2021, we are likely to be on a path of recovery. The question is, is there a better way to plan the year? The secret to an effective plan. We need a plan that we can execute on. A plan where you can visualize your actions with clarity. A plan where we can calibrate our actions periodically to reach our destination successfully while being able to navigate minefields. I normally choose a theme for a year based on the circumstances. This year, my theme is think differently. Think of it like a lens and all your thoughts and actions are influenced by this lens. Over the last year, I have found benefit in following a series of 12-week plans. As laid out by Brian Moran in his book, The 12-Week Year, get more done in 12 weeks than others do in 12 months. There are six key messages in the book. What to avoid? There is an unspoken belief that in a year there is plenty of time. By the end of January, we fall into a trap and start playing catch up. Along the way, we just give up because the path is too steep. But rather than recalibrating, we end up waiting the remaining period to start off the game. Sometimes we just end up pushing our limits in the fourth quarter to drive 40% of our achievements there. Our personal goals just slow down in preference to the corporate goals many a time during that period. So annual plans by themselves are ineffective. Periodization. Athletes cannot be working out for the last quarter of the year to achieve the year's objectives. The principles of periodization were invented and then applied to athletic training to dramatically improve that athlete's performance. These principles of achieving results are divided into blocks of four to six weeks. In my case, I ended up using a four block week for effectiveness and efficiency. So in line with the book, I ended up having a year as three blocks of four weeks, representing a 12 week year, planning for 12 weeks. The vision and the goals are born out of emotional connections where you can connect your vision to action. During the 12 week period, you identify three critical goals and three actions for each one of your goals to achieve those objectives. Each action has tactics to execute, confronting the truth. Each block of four weeks has four periods, each of one week and represents a milestone that you need to achieve in that week. So actions are executed one week at a time, giving you the opportunity to focus on priority and strengths and visualize actions clearly. Your daily roll calls and weekly reviews allow you to clearly execute milestones. So keeping score is relatively easy. The plan takes a little time to execute, but has much lesser surprises for execution. Secrets. Time blocking is a secret that many don't follow. If we take care of the minutes, the years will take care of themselves. Benjamin Franklin. 
keep aside a three hour strategic block inside of each week to review and recalibrate. You need to have an active process to build lessons learned out of every week into the plan. Accountability. If you live somebody else's goals, you will never own it. If you believe in it, you will own it and you will give your full commitment to achieving those objectives. This process has been life changing for me and I'm confident that it will dramatically change your performance levels on an everyday basis. You will initially feel imbalanced but quickly adapt to changing circumstances until it becomes a way of life. A point to note here is that 12 weeks make the year, not a quarter. So the whole exercise starts with a zero base at the beginning of a new 12 week year. You also have four weeks additionally in a year to recalibrate, to rejuvenate and to spend it the way you want to. But each 12 week year is an insulated and independent capsule of time, laying out the 12 week plan inside of Notion. The whole thing is now available as a template. So you can click on the template and it creates the plan framework for the period December 27 to March 27. All dates can be quickly changed with a few clicks to the current date range as required. In the Notion template, I have three sections. Section 1 allows you to define week 0 based on that start date. The table will recalculate the current week that's running and the end date to 12 weeks. Once the period has been completed, it will say period completed for that date range. After that, you click on the template to download a new template and then rename it and work off this new template by changing the dates. In section two, you define three core goals that you want to achieve in this 12 week period. In section three, you define the 12 week plan. Section three database has views for data entry, current week, a summary view and the engine room. Let's look at the data entry view first. The 12 week plan has two items for developing the plan and weekly goals that are part of week zero. You can define the new week zero to be the last week of the 12 weeks that you're going back to. If you want to do the new 12 week cycle back to back or if you want to have a week's break after every 12 weeks, then that break week you can define as week zero. For each goal, you have three actions. So you have defined nine actions in all. For each action, you can define the tactics. You can also define the build or grow in the phase to indicate whether it's a part of a new strategy or the enhancement of the earlier strategy. You can also set some predefined time slots to understand the kind of time blocks you need to create in your calendar. The scheduled week allows you to define the weeks in which you want to execute on those tactics. Based on the plan, you can elaborate any further details into the calendar for tasks. You can also flag off whether they have been marked in the calendar once that's done. In the summary view, you can see all the data entered columns and in addition, how the database automatically draws out your plan by week, of course, based on your indications. The current week view shows how the current week is laid out. The engine room shows you all the relations and rollups created and any formulae that have been created to help with the views. Integrating the 12 week plan into my daily workflow. My new Basecamp 2.0 has several sections, one of which is the 12 week year planner. The top half of it shows the current week number that is running. The bottom shows the current week's tactics for execution. This is mighty useful since you can immediately understand your focus areas so that you can schedule tasks for the week. The right hand side of the system houses the ultimate GTD of my Notion Planner, which works in conjunction with my LOS system that captures aspirations to projects. The 12 week plan is a zoom in of the projects that you can focus on and it houses all the elements in much more detail. Lessons learned. With this system, I am able to implement much more in 12 weeks in conjunction with the LOS system. The second part of the secret is what I call as the flight path 
where you will do the weekly reviews to recalibrate your actions. The third secret is how I identify things. If you overload 12 weeks, you will lead yourself to the same frustration that you may experience in the annual plan. So get narrow, go deeper, that's the trick. And finally, all of this is not possible without time boxing and automation techniques that I adopted in 2020. I would definitely urge you to see my earlier video, 8 things I learned in 2020. And finally, if you would like to pick up this 12 week year system, the links are in the description below. If you are not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.